Von Willebrand disease is the most common inherited bleeding disorder, causing a variety of bleeding symptoms, including easy bruising, excessive bleeding from minor wounds, regular nosebleeds, and heavy menstrual bleeding. The first and crucial step when suspecting Von Willebrand disease is to ensure you are aware of your patient's past experience with bleeding. Allow sufficient time to ask the patient about their personal history of bleeding events and obtain a detailed family history. A validated bleeding assessment tool such as the ISTH SSC BAT is helpful in this assessment. Be mindful of bias. Bleeding symptoms may be seen as normal in families with undiagnosed bleeding disorders, leading some patients to trivialize their symptoms. The personal and family history will guide you in determining the likelihood of an underlying bleeding disorder and justify further laboratory testing. You can perform general laboratory assessment before referral, including assessment of iron status and a full blood count. Findings are not specific to von Willebrand disease, but do provide important information for clinical management. Routine coagulation screening can also be performed, but results are normal in most patients with von Willebrand disease. There are many pitfalls in the interpretation of coagulation tests, so it is good practice to refer to a haematologist for diagnostic laboratory testing. After diagnosis, the haematologist will start treatment with antifibrinolytics, DDAVP, and or von Willebrand factor replacement therapy. Symptomatic treatment may already be started in first line, even before a definite diagnosis is made, including iron replacement therapy, antifibrinolytics, and hormonal therapy. Multidisciplinary management is required in patients with von Willebrand disease including multidisciplinary risk assessment and a personalized management plan before any interventions. For more information on the pathophysiology, symptoms and management of von Willebrand disease and its impact on other care, please refer to the full micro e-learning program on core2ed.com.